Welcome to our video series, Learn Rhino 3D in 11 Simple Ring Band Projects. In this video, I'll take you through working with the camera controls. We can change how we look at objects in view by panning, tumbling, and zooming around our target objects. When we first open Rhino, we'll see our recent models listed. Let's go ahead and choose our model from the last video, Rhino Project 2. I'll go ahead and double click on the model and we'll open Rhino straight into the default mode showing the four viewports, top, perspective, front, and right. Let's go ahead and maximize perspective view by double clicking on the name. As you can see, I have my two target objects, the pyramid and the torus. Let's go ahead and tumble around our target objects by clicking the right mouse button and drawing the mouse across the screen. As you can see, I can move around my object or even go from top to bottom. If you have a Mac with a magic mouse, you can also tumble around the target by drawing your finger across the mouse surface, tumbling in that manner. We can also pan our view across our target objects from side to side and up and down. To do so, hold down shift and the right mouse button and draw the mouse across the screen. I can go from side to side and up and down. Again, if you have the magic mouse, holding down shift and drawing your finger across the surface of the mouse will do the same thing. Finally, we can use zoom to maximize or minimize our view of our target objects. Simply hold down command on a Mac or control on a Windows machine, as well as the right mouse button and draw your mouse in and out. Let's go ahead and zoom out and zoom back in. These camera controls are very useful when creating projects in order to get a proper view of where you're placing objects. Stay tuned for the next video, moving objects around the construction plane.